D'Amico's here, B Cloud Engineers, Black in the Cloud. So the number one, uh, probably number two question that I get all the time was after they learn what a cloud engineer is, is, well, how do I become a cloud engineer? How do I get started? They're all amped up. They see the salary. They see the, the, the lifestyle that it affords them. They see the, 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 the job work life that's really cool, working on a MacBook working from home, smoking your cigars, and going out to nice rest. I want to be a cloud engineer, how can I start? Right, I don't, you don't need a degree, how can I start? Well, it's simple. It doesn't mean the work is gonna be easy, but it's simple to get into the field. So, um, for starters, you need to figure out which cloud career that you want. And I always say this before, starting before you go get any certification, before you go do any training, know where you're going. Otherwise, you're just going to be buying and consuming all these products. And most of the products won't even serve the purpose of where you're going in your cloud career. So start off by finding out what cloud career path do you want to pursue? Do you want to be in DevOps? Do you want to be a security engineer? Do you want to be... Uh, infrastructure engineer do you want to be an administrator do you want to be whatever you know matter of fact um you you go to the comments below this video um description you go to a link and take my quiz it's a free quiz it's, i think it's like seven questions but it basically spits out an idea of a cloud career that's uh, a cloud career that's best um, for you based on the answers that you provided you know based on the type of life work style that you want for yourself so you know Go check out that quiz, it's free. Or you can keep Googling on the online or go with your friends and homegirls and homeboys that tell you that you should probably start doing in cloud. So either way, figure out what cloud, number one step is figure out what cloud works for you, um, what cloud career works for you. Number two is find five, find five cloud jobs that fit that title. And here's why that's important. You wanna get two things from those jobs. You wanna, well, three things. The first thing you wanna get is that job headline. You're going to need that job, those jobs headline because you're going to have to create a summation for your resume and LinkedIn headline to match up with that for recruiters who go out looking for um, employees. They look for that job title. So that job title needs to be in the headline of your resume or your LinkedIn. Um, two is you need to find out the summation of the search that are required for these five jobs that you want under that career path, cloud career path. Find the uh, certifications that are required and go get those certifications. Then last but not least is you want to get a sermon summary of those job responsibilities because you're going to create three labs from a summation of those three of those uh, five job responsibilities. Right. And you're going to create a three labs that demonstrate that you have are somewhat of experience of working within those responsibilities. It's really that simple. It's really, and again, you can get three labs off of YouTube or Google, just type in free labs related to uh, a DevOps engineer or free labs related to security engineer, free labs for whoever, right? You just need to complete three after you. So get your certification first. So find out what you want to do first. Um, find the five jobs that fit you. That's going to be your model for how you're going to paint your initial career. Um, get certified. Get certified. You want to get your first certification under your belt. Get the certifications that are required. If there's one or two, focus on those first. Then do your labs. Then you're going to hire someone to update, professionally update your resume. If you're looking for a reference, you can definitely shoot me a message or a DM. I, can, I have somebody perfect for you who does all mine. Um, so get your resume update, updated and get your LinkedIn professionally done because those that resume and that LinkedIn are going to communicate with the algorithms of job recruiters and hire managers. So you're going to need to get those professionally done. All right. And then last but not least, start applying for jobs and interviewing. And then boom, that's how you got started as a cloud engineer. See, it didn't take that long. I told you it was simple. Now, the only thing left is for you to do the work. Demikos, B Cloud Engineers.